Hello everybody, so I'm just going to set up a little bit here, so skip uh, a little bit forward and we are going to start the show, okay? All right, so we are back. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Let's see if we can get uh, stuff moving. So today I am inspired by the kit batch I did a little while ago, mixing the Northern Alliance with uh, some modern twist to it. Um, this time I'm going to do uh, mixing modern weapons, but uh, having them in a fantasy setting. So what I'm looking at a really nice kind of steampunky weapons here and stuff like that and I'm like thinking yeah I should try to make something cool out of this maybe um, mix it up and make it uh, I actually do, do not um, I, I don't know actually what, what kind of um, to eat with what, what game if it's going to be Warcry and it's going to be like Stormcast Eternals with the shooty weapons I'm going to mix in uh, this one this type of miniatures from um, Forge World uh, Iron, uh, no, uh, non oil uh, regiment, uh, and I'm going to mix it and see how it looks. Just, just for fun. Shadow Cat, hello! Hi there, Darcy. Hope you have a good Christmas. Yeah, I had a good Christmas. We celebrated Christmas yesterday, and today we are just uh, chilling and relaxing. I have man flu, so <laughs> yay! <laughs> but uh, how are you? Got any anything cool for Christmas? Um, yeah, drop in some uh, share 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 your loot Christmas loot on Facebook page or something like that. That would be really amazing. All right, um, if you want to. So, um, but uh, yeah, so Warcry. So I have to figure out which base size and stuff like that this is going to be on. Uh, and for right now, uh, I I'm not bothered by it. So I'm just going to uh, glue it to a uh, like random base kind of and, and I'm going to just look at this pink <laughs> uh, and, uh, and it's just um, going to be like a really random 
for now and, and I will find out. Right now, let's just call this a Dark Age of Sigmar build. Alright, hey, Nerd Police Prime. Oh no, not the dicey guy again. When will it finally get some rest from him and his live streams? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you don't have to watch this. Uh, it is absolutely a shit show, so nobody with uh, sanity points should <laughs> should watch this. But I, you know, for all all it's worth, I am totally happy that you are chilling out with me uh, to, today of all days on Christmas Day. Um, most of you guys probably are celebrating Christmas today. Do you got anything cool for presents today? Are you doing something cool hobby-wise? Share the information. I, I like to know just just for a conversation and uh, to find out. So, yeah, let's see. Um, Nerd Police Prime. No, just joking. Nice to to be here again with my most favorite Norwegian. Hey, there's something. <laughs> I'm curious to see what you have uh, prepared to us today. So, I am the I am your favorite Norwegian. So you don't like um, to, uh, Thormod the uh, Giant Slayer from. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Game of Thrones, cool. <laughs> Probably a Christmas dinner. Oh, uh, uh, no, um, where I'm living right now it is, um, let's see, what is the time here? <laughs> the time is 10, you know, it's 10, oh, uh, what you call it in English? It is <laughs> 21.50 here, so it's uh, uh, almost 10 o'clock p.m. at night here. So I don't know how it is where you are. Um, Shadow Cat, are you? You're probably from uh, from United States of the America, America. Um, so yeah, but uh, Central European clock. It is um, starting to get uh, pretty late in the evening. Kids are sleeping, and I am almost sleeping too with my man flow and stuff like that. But I'm so inspired. Um, I was uh, watching uh, the Duncan Rhodes show once more from Stormcast uh, and he is so inspiring when he's talking about how to kit batch stuff. So here I am doing the, the thing. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is mix Forge World uh, miniature and I'm going to mix in uh, the, the uh, Ad Mac, what you call this, and try to have some steampunky look to it and I'm going to have that to be the Stormcast Eternal shooters in in Warcry, I think. Maybe I'm going to make it for uh, Vanguard instead. But um, right now I'm just going to have a, a, like a random base to put it on uh, and we are going... <laughs> I don't know. It's This is just mad science stuff. It's uh, It should be... Here is the heads it should be on and the weapons you are supposed to use are the Empire uh, gunman stuff. But Excuse me. I actually just eaten a rest dinner from yesterday, so uh, yeah, I'm quite quite filled up at the moment. Let's see, <coughs> but uh, Nerd Police Prime, sanity points, he said. Clearly you have been digging into the Cthulhu role-playing game. Yeah, I got that uh, yesterday and just uh, looking around, uh, like skipping p pages uh, between <laughs> trying to, to be a dad and follow my kids and stuff like that but yeah it's uh, interesting reads and uh, hmm. yeah I, hopefully I can uh, get to play that Freddy the red nose me go <laughs> shit hey Kyujo painting is in the house <laughs> Merry Christmas ho ho hoes yes um, I, I yeah sorry for calling you hoes <laughs> but <laughs> what <laughs> but uh, here we go again. But uh, anyways, Merry Christmas to all. Um, yeah, it's sincerely, it's uh, good stuff to have Christmas once upon a year. So, how are the traditions? How are how are you opening it in the morning or in the evenings or how how are your cr cr Christmas day? How are, is it? For me, yesterday we was eating um, uh, like. Uh, Salmon and eggs and stuff like that for for breakfast and yeah, we just uh, try to find best stuff to eat and <laughs> do it like that. Let's see Can this maybe this works? I don't know. Let's try Who what 
what's the coolest um, this is clearly the coolest weapon looking so we're going to try to get this to be glued to the thing <coughs> ah yeah I'm so I'm so groggy and I'm I'm sorry if it, if it's grossing you out people it's um it's not my intention but uh, Cthulhu mass all right <laughs> That's I probably more correct pronounce also of it. It's supposed to be a gradual sound that nobody can pronounce in in uh, like it's a little bit off here to be like a, a good fit. Uh, but um, it is doable. This weapon here, yeah, I think so. You just cut it a little slightly down, and it should be good. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. But uh, yeah, let's see if we have another weapon that's just going to be a schmuck straight in. Everybody likes it, but it's schmuck straight in. Let's see. So, I'm going to try this one. So, that, that is the really cool thing about uh, the Add the Mechanicus part of the Kill Team box. You got so much much spare that you can throw it around on random miniatures that you have laying around. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there, there we go. This is oh yeah. This this is where the cookies are crumbling. So um, it should be a little more like to that side. And uh, ooh, I'm going to do something really. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Um, but we are going to like try to bend this a little bit. And so brittle. Yeah, this is so stupid. I should just heat it up, heat it up uh, under a sink, and and then you can move it much easier. But I'm lazy. I'm not going to leave the table before we are done. So. I want to try to snap this, <laughs> but uh, let's see if that's better. Uh, 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 because it's a good fit here, but the hand on the left side of, of him holding it are a little off. But this is so, yeah, it's upsettingly off. Maybe not, because if we are like fiddling a little bit, a bit, a bit I think. I think this is workable. Let's try it on. <clears throat> um, Nerd Pulse Prime. Presence on the eve of 24th. No time for waiting. Give it to me now. Nice. Shadowcat. You can keep uh, locking up my phone when I type. You keep lo locking up my phone when I type. Oh shit. That is kind of shitty. A glitch in the matrix, Shadowcat. Yeah. You know, cats in the Matrix, they have a bad time, they're just glitching all the time. <laughs> so, I actually, I have watched Matrix, the first one, a bunch of times. The other ones I have just seen, you know, when they are on uh, like a television, but I haven't like uh, sit and join them all the way through. I don't know why, they d just didn't feel like Matrix for some reason. And it's, it's a little bit upsetting. Um, I, I really like Animatrix. Uh, it's a good show. Uh, so I hope uh, Game Workshop are going to make an Animatrix like low death robot kind of a thing with different animator uh, animators animators something like that. Uh, that that would, that would be sick. I think we should, if we just a little tilt there. Mm, like so a little green stuff and we're good yeah that is going to be cool cool it's going to be cool ping incoming yeah the sequ uh, sequels are crap okay <laughs> so don't uh, bother look them up okay got you then I have to look them up because I have the tendency to like uh, crap <laughs> So when everybody else is saying, yeah, that's crap, uh, I'm probably going to like it, so, huh, strange, 
But yeah, it didn't grab, grab, grab my imag imagination when I looked at, uh, looked at it. So it it feel it felt more like uh, I don't know forced. Yeah, th that is the best way to say it. It felt more forced. The two next one, the 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 first Matrix. It felt at the time when I watched it back in the day, like in '99 or something, when it comes out. It felt um, really fresh, but in an old way. It, it had like a deep philosophy in Buddhism and like other Christian uh, Christianity and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed the the mix of philosophy. I, I like I, I like philosophy. It's really good. <clears throat> Nerd Polish Prime. A corn series would be called Animaniacs then. <laughs> nice. Ooh, uh, oh, I, I, I really want to make a, a... I have a lot of corn stuff just sitting in... Uh, not sitting, but you know, in bags that I should just make a little army of. And that, 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 that would be cool. And just mix up with weapons and stuff like that, and make them. Maybe make make like a, a rebel army, like a evil chaos. Um, what you call it? Imperial guard. What is what's the new name? Astra Militarium. Kujo, this was a huge success. Now we have to do a sequel. Yeah, that kind of yeah. Hey, people liked it. Let's jump on the. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it felt, the little I have watched of the two sequels, uh, it felt uh, really forced. It was like with no Vaseline, you know, <laughs> like it was raw and, 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 and not, not any, I, 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 I do believe it was not um, enjoyable for any, anybody. <laughs> but um, I, probably wrong. If, if everybody says it's crap, maybe I'm liking it. As I said before, like right now, today, like five minutes ago, when people think stuff are crap, I have a tendency to like it. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't know how, how long this uh, <laughs> stream is going to be. It's rough to talk, it, but uh, I, I wanted to sit and, and just uh, putting some random bits to random stuff and some green stuff and, and try to make it sexy ah uh, yeah so okay like so and it's going to be like oh that's holding it like so kinda and yeah yeah I'm feeling it I'm feeling it this is cool 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 and then we're going to have oh little tools say hello to my little friend so, yeah, maybe, maybe we are going to use that one. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to try to, uh, I was really inspired to try to do more with the airbrush. I really like the little section in, in Angel Geraldes book where he explained how much you should touch down with your uh, like it with your bottom but button uh, and how much you could press behind like how much you should press down and ba back and how much um, it spreads because I feel like I started to understand what happened when I do stuff but uh, it, it uh, I was a little off on how to understand how the spray is looking so so that sh section is probably going to help me I'm go I need to you know pr practice what I'm seeing before I uh, can make a judgment call on, <laughs> on it, or if it's correct or not but uh, for me but uh, it was interesting learning there so um, I I'm, I'm, I'm a little on the fence if the book is um, like it's 60% uh, 
about how to paint the different uh, factions in in infinity and that's cool and all that but um, it wasn't that much uh, teaching in in those sections I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence about if it's um, I don't know if it's good for uh, uh, people that is not uh, having armies of infinity to paint or not I do understand that Corvus Belli was in it and was well was the main reason he could make those books and and so stuff like that so they had had something to say there and I, I totally understand it from like from from all the parties involved that that there was an interest for doing it like that but as a cost customer on the other end I, I don't know I feel like if, if I was an in, in infinity player this would be the shit it would be the holy grail of everything it would be really nice to have uh, for reference and stuff like that um, but as it is just about painting and stuff like that nothing fluffy so fr from an outside person like I do not play infinity so um, not having any fluff to hang any of the armies and stuff like that like sparking my imagination and like making me want to buy any of the factions uh, it should be a little like breadcrumb text there or something like that that may make you like oh maybe yeah maybe I should buy one of those so I don't know that was a small little review on one of the gifts uh, from from the holiday but don't get me wrong it is a, it's a good book but um I, right now that is the impression i have of it it feels a little lackluster but uh at the same time it was probably a lot um i have learned there that uh that i will have a good use for when using airbrush so there you have it like so yeah and should i have like an old head on like this or should I go with a mechanicum head and should it be with like like a, hmm like like this like this one would this be really strange to have on it or like more of a like this heads I'm going to take one head off and just see <laughs> that that sounded really <laughs> uh, evil I got to take the head off but um, let's see. Oh shit! Uh, there are some comments there. Let's see. <coughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Nerd uh, Police Prime. Green stuff goes better if you add some water to it. Yeah, uh, it does. But in my case right now, I, I like to have it a little dry. Uh, it sticks better when it's totally dry. And um, my temperature where I'm. Um, working it's uh, 15 Celsius so it's a little cold here so it doesn't uh, become really sticky when it's uh, the green stuff so for that reason I, I kind of like it like it is so let's see uh, da -da. let's see um uh, ba -ba -ba. Do we need to be worried about a little friend? They are filmed back to back numbers two and three. Okay. Um, not even uh, it's too late. The question has been asked. <laughs> what? What has been seen cannot be unseen. Damned. What is the model and weapon you are using? Uh, yeah, the model, model I'm using is uh, from uh, Forge World uh, Null um, Brigade or something like that, and and the other one is from Ad. Mechanicum kill kill team set. Uh, just mixing together some games workshop stuff and see see how it looks. Um, I'm going to proxy them probably maybe as some shooter uh, stormcast for uh, for uh, Warcry. Just for lulz. I'm just going to see. Yeah, I, I need to need to trim down the head, but it can actually work maybe. Yeah, I, th I think this is. I, I, I'm going to trim it down and see how it looks. 
So I'm just going to hold my clipper like so and then I'm just going to bravely go in and get it off. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you can use this approach to colors Akash, and uh, just apply it to different models. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, that, that is really true. So th th this is just my raw impression, right? Like right now, and uh, it's just like uh, a lot of the book is filled with just infinity. And uh, it feels like um, he's kind of talking uh, like, I, I know what, what you are thinking. I, I'm just saying that I, I feel, I feel like, uh, <laughs> He he don't doesn't like my my miniatures. He just like infinity miniatures. Me, it is kind of like that right now. So okay, let's see if this is this. Um, he's like looking down the barrel. Yeah, I think this is not too bad. I actually think this is um, this could look like a high power magical. Um, like lightning weapon, a stone cast would you shoot. Of course, I have a problem, like saying how why he can sustain that much pain and stuff like that. But you know, he has armor here. This is metal. These are metal. So maybe he is just, and it maybe has some super juice. <laughs> he has drunk. I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Nerd Police Prime, that's the guy. I would like to see a flip through that book, please. Thinking about ordering it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, why are you just talking about Borg? <laughs> what? Okay. Why? But yeah. Um, let's see. I, do I have the book in down here or is it upstairs? Give me a moment. Okay, I found it. It is um as as um let's see the green stuff I have to take away. Just let's see. So it's um uh, don't get me wrong. I think it is a good book. And uh, it's a, a good quality book, uh, but uh, let's see if I can try to make this on the fly. It's going to be a little weird here, but uh, hey ho, know how it goes here. So let's see. <clears throat> so okay, Angel Gir Gar Gar Gir Gir Giraldus Masterclass Volume Two. So probably should have <laughs> Volume One too, but. Um, let's see, um, just give me a second here, I need to go and do something about the focus, let's see if that works, something like that, alright, alright, and let's see, so <laughs> I need to configure a little here so you can maybe see a little bit more, okay. <clears throat> Something like this, and yeah, let's see. So in the book, it's uh, opening, and it has, has a good, this one is, I, I like this one, because you can have this as a page holder. You can hold the page where you are reading, so you have a new place to read. That's a, a good th photo. Um, he goes into, yeah, here we can see the content, um, introduction. The ancient Giraldus uh, methods in depth, coating, placing the highlights and shades, outliners, volumes, color theory, products used, tips, brush handling, paint dilution, airbrushing, parts of an airbrush, airbrush handling, dilution, airbrush handling graph, uh, cleaning. This is an um, important one. I, I, um, uh, I think uh, Wins Venturella made a really good uh, cleaning video. I, I really like that one. It ha has helped me to understand a little bit more about the airbrush and how to use it more fast. 
um, cleaning between before everything is stuck together. <laughs> Stuff like that. Techniques: non-metallic metal. Second part: weathering, rust, scratches, pigments. Uh, master classes and from page 42 to 150, they are just infinity miniatures. Like this is just for uh, the different uh, factions of um, of infinity. And this is what I mean by by having a negative uh, input on this. I, I wish they had um, like I, I, I wish uh, they have spent a little more bread. Uh, breadcrumbs use more breadcrumb uh, like telling what what what's um, what the uh, Panesh AI is for now. Adriana, Young, Jing, Hak, Islam. What is it? Why should I collect and paint them? You know, give me a little more meat on on the bone. Just you know, <laughs> I don't don't play too much and stuff like that. But I like the fluff. I like the stories that sparks my ima imagination. I want me and yeah okay so we are starting on page one with the sexy man himself he he has he has started his own youtube channel so you should just hook up angel giraldes in your youtube um, because uh, he goes through a lot of techniques there um, um, and of course kujo painting ding <laughs> he is also good giving a good painting tips he is now in the chat so if you have any uh, painting or airbrush stuff you want to ask ask them I I do from my new like semi I, I like to paint I like to stuff but he has he has a, a be much better um, uh, he is uh, his path is uh, more evolved than mine if, if you want to you know pursue getting better but uh, it's no it's no, no contest if you're not um, like entering a contest. You, you should just try to improve if it makes you happy. Um, so here he goes into the methods and what he used, primer coating, and he's talking about Cenafil highlight. And you have seen on my channel, I use it all the time. So this was just um, for me a refreshing of it. Uh, and then it goes more into how to paint with the airbrush, there you said the e e airbrush symbol and then he talks about how to use a brush and he likes to mix and match and go back and forth, ha have a little dance between the twos and stuff like that. Um, and here is a good one, uh, he talks about uh, how, how the different lights are hitting different objects and stuff like that. Um, and here you can see something that is really interesting, and I think this is this is something maybe people should do more. You should take a photo of your miniature and put it on your computer, and and then you should um, like <laughs> like uh, in your Photoshop and stuff like that. Hit hit them with uh, um, like lights and stuff like that, or play with your when you're taking photo of this gray miniature and try to hit, hit it with lights, and you can. Take a reference photo of that, and if you are painting flames, for example, um, let's see, you should uh, find something that gives you a hot flame. Let's see. So, if you have, and you can put it on the flame, and you can take a photo on how the light are hitting the miniature from that angle and stuff like that. You can use a less stronger, um, uh, like. Um, what you call this? I can't remember. <laughs> light source, uh, a LED light, something like that. And you can play around and, and get more understanding on how the lights are hitting. And I am no, no expert of doing this. I do not do this, but it's a really interesting and, and it got me sparking and thinking a little more about it. Play more, may, play more with your computers, if, with your miniatures and have 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 lights hit from different places and stuff like that for different effects, and it's uh, it's cool. This is this is uh, this is this is neat. And then you go into color theory, and he talks about you know how the different colors react to each other. So you have uh, warm colors and and uh, and cold colors and stuff like that. And uh, he talks about uh, what he use, what products he use, and here is a. Like a commercial side for everything he 
likes to use and you know um, stuff like that um, then it goes into how to bristle brush handling how you should paint with your uh, brushes and stuff like that and it goes into splatting how to do different effects stippling um, blood effects uh, a lot of things and he also talks about the breakdown this is real cool so I have a badger so but uh, there are similar parts in in you know my airbrush here it breaks down the airbrush infinity CR plus and here you have all the numbers for for this airbrush and you can see how they correspond to the different um, sizes and stuff like that so that's really nice and then he talks about how you should um, how where on the airbrush you should hold it you should hold it uh, on the bottom on the not like a lot forward like so you should have super control like uh, like you should um, touch it and have a good feel for it with your uh, index fin finger um, a lot of interesting stuff and uh, I like how Polish and not Polish he is in his video so you can see his messy tables and stuff like that and how he is just doing stuff um, it's it's amazing here it goes into an example a practice example you can prime just a weapon and leave everything else uh, without priming and you should just uh, hit with your airbrush on that thing there and it should uh, uh, teach you how to use your airbrush um, so so and then it goes into more mixing this is <laughs> this is you can see his uh, mixing um, he used this on YouTube still uh, it's really cool and this is his uh, messy desk he's more messy than me mine uh, and, and then here here is the this is the page that have teach me something that I haven't been able to learn from any YouTube videos so this is the handling graphic and how much you push down and how much you take back so 70% back and 70% down give you a super burst and it will prime the stuff and 15% back just a little touch back and 50 like half way down will give you more controlled and this um, uh, like five just a little step back and uh, mm, uh, not that not 50 but 40% down it will give you the precise position and uh, this is the position I inspire to try to get to for when I see people airbrush on uh, YouTube like uh, with Angel here he is really good and I really like his control when he does the finishing touch with whites what really makes the miniature pops and make that uh, Angel Garcia's um, stamp of approval nice you know the thing you want to have have the airbrush to look and here he goes into how to clean and stuff like that he has a different method than others and um, yeah it's good probably it's uh, I, I like uh, Vince Venturella's method better to be honest and, and here we go into non-metallic metal and here on silver I, I like how it looks this is a really good as uh, non-metallic look not the best I've seen but it's much better than I uh, currently do the gold version of non-metallic uh, <laughs> I, I don't like but uh, you know uh, it's the eye of the beholder of course um, I do not say that he is a bad painter uh, he is not he is one of my top five pre uh, like painters and here he has uh, how you scratch and stuff like that um, and more techniques and then 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 you go into infinity rest of the book is infinity it's infinity it's infinity and you have uh, one little good one here a sexy one when you can make your Scottish people uh, here uh, he, and it goes into the different techniques of how to make uh, the what you call it the tartan tartan yes Ta -ta 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 and he, different colors and different way of doing that thing it's really interesting so that is the book will I recommend it yes but uh, keep in mind over 50% of the book is infinity miniatures but uh, 
I haven't read it and I haven't uh, applied the techniques yet, but you know, I imagine them be good, but you know, take what my, what I'm saying with a grain of sa uh, salt or something like that and uh, yeah, K um, make up your own mind on it. All right, so where are we? Have I missed anything? Um, uh, yeah, that was for Nerd Police Prime. And uh, uh, Dicey God is a god, even getting an extra, up, getting up extra for book. Loving this guy. <laughs> yeah, hey, give me. If you love me a long time, uh, send something all over to Patreon. Ding! Uh, I, sh I should not say that, but you know. Nobody is going to do it, so <laughs> maybe if I t pester you with it, somebody is throwing me a dollar. It would be amazing. But anyways, going in and out of focus is hurting my eyes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is, when I haven't prepared for how to, to make the video, it is really hard to do all the stuff. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> it, is, um, it is what it is. Sorry. Sorry for that. Sorry. Um, you should set fire to your model and take a picture. <laughs> yeah, I get uh, really many. Um, I, I will get, especially if it's the Dark Elves army, I would get a lot of views. Who, what? It was a. It is a YouTuber. Uh, I, I'm not going to say his name because I'm not sure it was the. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure it was him, but um, <laughs> somebody, a YouTuber, was doing this when uh, Age of Sigmar first came out. He was just burning his whole collection. Uh, that that uh, hurt my soul at the moment, but it's just really fur funny right now. Anyway, um... <laughs> Private Press has a good one on fire. Oh, oh, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there are uh, good tutorials out there, but if you if you you have to check out uh, Mickey Janvers, uh, 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 Fire Belly Ogres thingy, she has made uh, the fire there. It looks photoshopped. It is too good. Ah, uh, she she is amazing. So if you, I think she has put it out on my Discord uh, page uh, somewhere. But, you know, beware, it's not safe for kids or <laughs> adults or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways. Um. <laughs> Imagine the phone call to insurance company. Kujo told me to set fire on it. <laughs> and who is Kujo, Michi Jenkins? What? A wolf? <laughs> uh, on the inter Wolf head on the internet? Click. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Last time I turned on my compressor, scared the crap out of my cat. Yeah, I have a big ass uh, compressor. I I got it for free because it's it's actually when you are starting it, it is filling up the tank, but it's not stopping. So it's uh, I think it is sixty liters. Uh, it is an industry like a compressor that is used to power tools and stuff like that, uh, so it's noisy as uh, fuck, but uh, but anyways. Um, burning those dark elves was a pain, love Drukchi, yeah. I wonder how he felt once he realized he could just change the bases, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you know, uh, the rank and file game was over, you know, uh, the game is a completely different game. From, from the 8th edition, but you know, uh, 9th edition is out, uh, uh, Kings of War is out, uh, and people are just digging them as a rank and file game, so, uh, Nerd Police Prime, what an idiot that guy was, <laughs> yeah, uh, but you know, um, you know, if you, whatever, it was fun, <laughs> it's uh, something I'm never going to do though, but. Let's see, yeah, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to try to paint this up, uh, 
but I'm going to try I'm, I'm going to uh, make a little list and make more guys like this I think it was fun and it's going to look amazing hopefully another one I have made uh, I made started to make videos on how to make a dice tower and uh, I have I, th I think I have seen what maybe you've seen this before is a giant hiding in the tower and is trying to skip away <laughs> uh, maybe we can see it better like so so it's it's just lurking around in a little tower um this is not my id I, it's somebody on the internet on kings of war or something like that had a giant inside a, a mill hiding and it was so funny i have a head and stuff like that so i was thinking yeah i can use the bits and make something out of it and it's working so um let's see ah, hi. well let's see if i can proof it is in the pudding so there we go <laughs> it's uh just fun to do so yeah it's more a gimmick thing or anything, but the kids are liking it when they are playing dice games with me, so uh, it's going to serve its purpose with my kids. So, <clears throat> let's see. Kujo painting. I would like to get into airbrushing, but all the cleaning and maintenance and the needling and the bump that goes with it, it really puts me off it. Yeah, it, it is a, a different tool. And I have a love because it's a good you, when you're blending different colors and stuff like that, you get that super smooth blend. I really like that. Uh, but then you have uh, then you have like uh, the cleaning. And it, it, it sucks and not in a good way. Uh, but uh, the the little like how, how to clean your airbrush tutorial. Vince Venturella was like two months ago was making uh, has helped me and I'm right now is more positive to airbrush so you know whatever <laughs> but it is not a necessary tool and uh, I imagine you have uh, you have a good really good technique with your brush and um, so it's a, a it's a question because you are in some ways lowering your skills on the brush when you are going to airbrush so finding the balance uh, because it, it, it is it is the same thing but it's completely different in a way so all the um, uh, it's, it's a hard one uh, so it's like when, when my friends are asking and talking about airbrush and stuff like that and I say if you think it is going to be easier for you to paint than buying um, like contrast paint uh, and just prime them white, you're wrong. <laughs> um, but uh, if you enjoy painting and want to have a different kind of look to miniatures, airbrush is the way to go. And it, definitely, if you want to have uh, like uh, good blends, like from from blue to red, and you can have the really good transition between those colors and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but you know it's my take on it and how I feel about it so anyways uh, now the old world looks like it's on its way back yeah yeah um, yeah the, yeah it's uh, crazy stuff hey look up my setups <laughs> this is going to be super cool anyways um, yeah so that is how it is um, let's see if I can get this better behind the scenes <laughs> something like this um, but yeah what I'm thinking on next is this project here it is to paint up Baba Yaga's hut I am going to prime it with a brush and then I'm going to go in with airbrush and stuff like that and I'm just going to try to mix different colors of wood on it and have good transitions and stuff like that and uh, but first I, have, I see some mold lines there. This is from Reaper uh, Miniatures, it's a Bones miniature. 
and uh, this miniature is from for a friend of mine uh, the same that, that I painted the rock for and I'm considering when I'm painting this maybe I should make the inners uh, more like black just pitch black and blue glass or if I should make the innards uh, more like it's light up it is some somebody's home with hot colors inside and uh, cold colors on, on the windows um, so yeah I'm, I'm taking my time and trying to to make the piece talk to me <laughs> super weird <laughs> dicey you are drunk no I, I'm not drunk but um yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a, like a, a, a image in my head and how it's going to look when it's uh, ended. I haven't seen anybody paint this Baba Yaga house. There are probably a lot of them on uh, internets to look up. But I, I like this journey where it's uh, completely up to me how to make it. And um, I, I, I enjoy to have the miniature kind of speaking to me. But I, I do not think uh, it's going to fit on this one. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm silly, sorry. All right, but um, yeah, I think this is a good show. I, we have been actually almost an hour already. So, um, but uh, yeah. Ooh, we had a fight that to fight that chicken house. It was a pain in the butt, but totally fun. Oh, Nordpolis Prime, you have you have painted this one. Cool, nice. Uh, OBS, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I am using open broadcaster software. It is the, it is free. <laughs> it is a good one. <clears throat> but yeah, um, if anybody is going to, you know, it is what um, the Patreon is up for. It is to upgrade my studios and just make this live stu stuff better but uh, um, <laughs> I, I have I have my dopes anybody actually want to drop me and anything uh, when you can see what you are getting in value from other patreons <laughs> so yeah I have my hopes lowered but what I'm thinking is to in a three months time giving away uh, for the patrons, one lucky winner is going to win a painted miniature from me and random stuff like paints and stuff like I haven't opened uh, and like hobby stuff I have a lot of hobby stuff and you know it's fun to give away and of course some Norwegian ch chocolate and stuff like that but uh, we will see if, if this happens I, I, don't, I actually do not know how to push that in a good way that's not sell sell pitchy or like <laughs> going to irritate people uh, so I don't know I should actually I don't know yeah I actually don't want to sell my channel but uh, because uh, I yeah Anyways, yeah, it's been a long day and I think I'm going to go to bed really soon. So um, thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's a little low key today and yeah, some days it's just how it is. I actually think it should be a little gap there. It looks uh, like an old, old house that are about to crumble with how, how the roof are caved in and stuff like that but anyways yeah I think with that bombshell there what about the people who can't afford to do patreon yeah um, it is what everybody says <laughs> everybody that's following me telling me that they are piss poor and <laughs> so uh, yeah it's um, one of the biggest reasons I don't want to push a sell pitch to people, so 
yeah, it is what it is. Um, I would prime uh, it black, then dry brush it gray, and a chestnut ink the wood. Yeah, it's a good uh, way to go. I am thinking about using grays and greens and browns and reds and different variation of those tones in it and just make it really looking old woody and uh, go from there and uh, I'm actually thinking about what color is a really good color for the roof um, chicken legs are going to be orangey and yeah uh, but but so a uh, good contrast to orangey and, and like grays greens brown uh, so maybe we go with a really cold color on top or are we going with a really hot color on top um i, I think i think the uh, the best pres presentation is probably to have a hot color on top so red orangey stuff or like dark browns and stuff like that on the roof would be good yeah maybe I think uh, it seems it looks like like wood shavings that are put in here like uh, the really old houses are having wood shavings so it should probably be like with maybe it's tar on them so they are like um, dark brown colors reddish brown colors um, but yeah, it was fun again, Dicey. No, fuck off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see it. Um, see you tomorrow. Maybe, no promises. So, fuck off. <laughs>